We've reviewed big swords, but we've never reviewed small swords? Out of space review. I know, I don't review toys enough, but in today's episode, we're going to review the DX Ankoku Ken Kuriyami and Jukin Caliber Driver. We did see it before in the Lost Kiwi Designs episode, link is up here when she reviewed the China edition of the Ankoku Ken Kuriyami, but I'm here to show what it can really do. Thousands of years ago, two blades were forged to complement each other. One of light and another of darkness, yin and yang. The reason for the Ankoku Ken was to seal away any swords that fell into the wrong hands, while the Kogo Ken, Saikyo, was to unseal them. Saikyo, we'll have to review it another time. As you can see, this is the Ankoku Dagger Kuriyami. But we got the Japanese edition right here. The DX Ankoku Ken Kuriyami's paint is more accurate to the Japanese one than it is to the China edition. I think that it looks more like the Chinese edition. So the big sword doesn't match the little sword. Instead, the China edition matches more closer to the DX version. So remember, this is a kid's toy for kids. So it's gonna be a bit cheaper when it comes to what they want the quality of the toy to look like. Still pretty cool. What you get inside is the Ankoku Ken Kuroyami, the Jaken Caliber Driver, the Jark Dragon Wonder Ride book, and also a belt to wrap it around. You can also get a set that comes included with the Jiao Dragon Wonder Ride book. But as you can see, I got mine separately. It was easier to ship. Let's change it into Jark Dragon mode. So what you see here is what Caliber's belt would look like. We've attached the Sword Driver Hisatsu holders to it. So that includes being able to hold the Wonder Ride books. And of course, the Seiken Sword Driver's included sword, also Caliber's sword. Boop, ta-da. So that's how you get a more accurate display to what's on the show. Or of course, yeet your sword, one of your big boys on top, just like that. Just like with the Seiken Sword Driver's main sword, there is a scanning feature to it. It's only got two buttons on it, not like the big one, because the Jagan reader here, it can actually read Wonder Ride books. Oh. So let's turn it on, check what it can do. You can push the trigger on the side to do sword slash attacks. It's just the same sound every time you push it. Nothing happens when you hold it. And underneath, sword slash sounds also. It's the same, it's the same. You're gonna wanna transform with this bad boy. And how do you do that? Well, get your Wonder Eyed book. and scan it. After you've done that, you can do three things. Push the trigger on the sword, push the button underneath, or you can place your Wonder Ride book into the Jukin Caliber driver, and then press your sword on top, just like in the show. So now that we've transformed into Kamen Rider Calibur, Jark Dragon, it's time to perform some Wonder Eyed book scans.
This can read a lot of the books. It's a little bit different compared to the Seiken Sword Driver in that it will begin with Jark. So it's a more evil scanning. Now also it scans all the Legend Rider Wonder Eyed books, but instead it will just say the names of the organization, except for Ichigo and Decade, where it will say Shocker and Neo Shocker respectfully. Well, let's check out some of the Wonder Eyed books. We're only going to do a few because some of the more power up forms just double up. So that's cool. So you can scan a whole bunch of the Wonder Eyed books. But also, when you do the sheathing attack, the magnet piece in the Hisatsu holder reads on the Jagan reader so it knows it's performing a different special attack. So let's do that. It's time to transform into Jow Dragon. So we're gonna need our Jow Dragon Wonder Eyed book. Scan it on the Jukun reader, place it into your Jukun caliber driver, and then choose to either transform by pulling the trigger or pushing the button underneath. Or of course, you can do the more traditional transformation by placing it onto your driver. No. When you transform in this mode, you have to scan it, place it onto your driver, and then hit the Jukin Caliber driver. Why? Because all the transformation sounds come out of this Wonder Eyed book. So let's Henshin. So now that we've transformed, you can still scan all your Wonder Eyed books on the Jukin reader, but it'll be exactly the same. Nothing really changes, doesn't add any special attacks to it. Let's do a one, two, and three 
Wonder-Eyed Book Scan Attacks. Same as Vault, you can do an unsheathing attack with the Hisatsu Holder. Let's check that one out. Now, the final thing we can do is perform a Jiao Dragon Hisatsu Dokuha. First thing you do is you close the Wonder-Eyed book on your driver and then we open it up again and we perform an attack. Now let's do it. That's all the sounds you can do with the Deluxe Unkokuken Kuriyami, along with adding a Jiao Dragon Wonder Ride book and the Hisatsu holders to your Jukin Caliber driver. It really makes your display look so much nicer. But of course, you can make it just look a little bit nicer by adding one of these two swords, or both, to the display, like this. Wouldn't that be cool? You can remove your DX Unkokuken Kuriyami and display either the China edition or the Japanese edition with it. But otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I know it was pretty quick, but we managed to see so much of what this toy can do. And also we showed you how you can make it look really nice with all these items. So I hope you learned something about the DX Unkokuken Kuriyami. It's a really cool toy, but in the comments, let us know. Do you have any of the Kamen Rider Saber swords? And if so, which ones do you have? Do you have any of the big one-to-one -one scale toys? Keen to know. Down in the comments, off you go. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Please, it lets us know you like this because I want to do more toy reviews now. And also subscribe because it helps us know that you enjoy our content. It's a lot of fun making crazy displays like this. It's just so cool. Shows you what you need to make your collection look a little bit cooler. And I get to try out some of the toys that I've just kept in boxes for ages. It's just so much fun. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.